everybody and you may find me at Ford headquarters in Wally um, over in Essex and if you didn't already know Ford are actually moving head offices so they've invited me down it's an enthusiast day today so there's lots of former employees there's lots of people here from Ford and there's lots of really really cool stuff stuff from the Heritage Centre um, and also it's 50 years since of the Ford Capri and so there's pretty much every single Capri you can think of so first up we've got the Le Mans competing Ford GT which is pretty cool I think you'll agree so not often you get up close and personal with one of these uh, but lucky enough to do so today look at that also rather dirty RS200 and the RS200 I drove around Dunton test track in one of my last videos so you'll probably be familiar with this car it's the original press car from 1986 and it's been in the heritage collection ever since also a very rare car Zack Speed Capri um, this one I think competed in German touring cars but I could be wrong so troll me if I am incorrect but look at that what an absolute beast 50 years of the Capri this year there's a really interesting talk going on later from Steve, Steve Saxty um, hopefully we'll be doing some more work with Steve uh, over the coming weeks let's have a look around this Capri that's me you can see more of me than you can the car. So we've got some cars coming in now. We've got a Series 1 RS Turbo. We've got an ST220 and a Mark 1 Orion. And then we've got the Capris. So I'm going to do a bit of a walk around on the Capris um, because kind of test my knowledge really a little bit um, I haven't seen any of these cars previous um, but we'll do a bit of a walk around now and have a look at what we've got so it's 50 years of Capri as I talked about it's about the third time I mentioned it but we've got a 2.8 injection another 2.8 injection with a RS kit on by the looks of things um, another 2.8 injection 2.8 injection I think there's a theme here look you've got a red one Caspian blue um, that one says V8 on the side, Paul and Christine, Marie Essex, uh, green, black, yellow, that's not an original engine, this man's taking a photo, have a look in there, Capri S, uh, so the S in the 2 litre in the 1600, Capri gear, that's an S, that's very much like the one out of Bodie and Doyle Professionals, uh, Stratos Silver, I believe. Um, another S. These are all Mark III's, so we've kind of started at the end of the generation. Um, then we've got the Mark II, so we've got a John Player Special here, I believe. Um, in the famous black and gold livery, like the F1 cars. Mark II is probably my least favourite of the three Capri Marks. Got a nice brown one there, that's quite cool. White one. This brown one's quite cool. A patchwork one. John Player Special again, that one's beautiful. Absolutely min. Another John Player Special. Wow, have you ever seen so many Capris? It's absolutely insane. Nice RS2000 Mark II. And this is just really a wonder about with me, really. Um, look at this hut. My God, look at this Capri trailer. How cool is this? So it's obviously the, the partners of these two. So we've got the red Mark III. <laughs> Very much the, the aerials on the back. And the black one. And a trailer. How cool is that? Then we've got some other cool stuff over here. So we've got a Fiesta Super Sport by the looks of things. So that's pretty cool. Um, then we've got an original Mark 1 XR2. Again, very cool. 
Mark II XR2, Mark III XR2i. Then we've got a XR3 I, I believe. 1.6i Cabriolet, because I don't think it was called an XR3i then. Mark IV XR3i, which I'm a big fan of the Mark IV. Mark V XR3i, which you don't see many of, especially not with the smiley grill. XR4i, again, big fan of the XR4i. And then an XR4 before. So we've got a good, good turnout of all the XR cars as well, which is pretty cool. Love these. They're not as coveted as the Cosworths, but still have a special place in my heart for sure. This one's caught my eye. It's a burgundy uh, Capri 2.8 injection. It's got this awesome RS uh, rear spoiler, um, which is just really cool. I think, look how big it is. I mean, in 1986, driving down the road in that Capri with a wing like that on, you must have been the absolute business. Such a beaut. It's beautiful condition. Got the period Recaro interior as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. So now we've got the Mark 1s. Such a. There's a 1600 GT, a 1600, a 3000 E. A 3000 GT, there's so many variants. Another 1600, a 2000 GT. This is a 1300, believe it or not. A 3000 E again, 2000. 3000 GT. This one's rather cool. Got this one here. She's actually a rally car, which is pretty mad. So, peaking to Paris. There's a lot of history with this. Look at this. So, that's it in the rally. And now, look at it. It's all been restored. Very beautiful. 3000. And then we come on to some of my faves. <laughs> RS3100. 1600 GT. Another 3 litre. That's a broad speed. So that's a rare one. I remember that being in a Quentin Wilson BBC2 documentary about the Capri, the cars, the stars, that actual car. Um, that's a nice one. Lots of people around that. But you just never see this many Capris in one place, probably ever again. 50 years this year of Capri. And what a way to celebrate it. And this one is my absolute favourite. So this is a fully restored 3100, RS3100, in my favourite colour as well. It's got the iconic duck fin on the back. Look at that. Just so cool. Such a cool car. Look how wide the rear arches are on it as well, and the front. It's just incredible. Probably one of my favourite cars in the whole of the Ford scene, this car. It's an absolute privilege to see it. Be one absolute beaut. Gorgeous. We've got a few more. It's just Mark 1 after Mark 1 after Mark 1, and I think what made the Capri so kind of such an important and iconic car is that you could buy a 1300 or you could buy a 3 litre but you could make it look how you wanted it to look. And now we get into the, some of the last cars, the 280 Capris, so these are the Brooklands 280, all in green as another Capri arrives, all finished in Brooklands green with a full black uh, raven leather interior, it might have been dark grey but and then it had these 15 inch Brooklands wheels and this was kind of the swan song of the Ford Capri. And it's rare you see one, let alone as many as we've got here. This one, 86 SVE, uh, Special Vehicle Engineering SVE generally stands for. I believe this is the last one. 
Um, so I believe this is the very last Capri to come off the production line ever. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. That's my assumption, but I think it is. Uh, what a beaut. And then we've got some rare ones here. Red C1, let alone three. Tickford Capri. So these were coach built by Astrid Martin. And kind of very similar styling to the v V8 Vantage of the then time. Um, they had a beautiful bespoke interior and I believe they're twin turbo as well. So you can see under the engine here. Um, look at that. It's just so cool, so period to the time. This one has got the leather interior. What? Look at these. Look at them. They're so 80s, aren't they? Just total 80s. And then we've got the 280s as well. So three more 280 Brooklands here. You just don't see these cars. Just to see all of them in one place is incredible. And then from the old to the new, with a new Mustang just coming through. And I must show you this. So I'm gonna cross over, try not to get killed. The new Raptor. So how good does this look in red? I'm not getting one anymore. I tried I tried one out and then I got lent one also by MSRT, which is very good of them. It's just too big for me. For where I live, it, and it just doesn't suit my requirements. But it's still pretty cool. I love it. It's just not what I need in my life as a car. It's huge. It is huge. We've got a red one and we've got a white one as well. They are beautiful though, aren't they? They've done such a good job with them, I think. So the first, first two, other than the blue one, first, actually I've seen the blue one before, but um, it's the first time I've seen them in any other colour. And I've got to say the red's working for me. Looks really, really, really good. Got the Series 1 RS Turbo, and also a Mark III, very original Mark III um, standard model as well. Then we've got my, my Escort Cosworth, which you all know. We've got a Racing Puma, which I love. So I think they were due to make thousand of these, but only ever made 500. Um, so a very rare car. Just so nice. Unfortunately, the blue suede seats are covered up. But um, yeah, what a car. It's really cool. got a uh, Granada Mark 1, very Sweeney-esque. We've got Dave from Retro Ford's Mark 2 Fiesta. We've got a Millennium Puma, so made in 2000, celebrate the Millennium. They made these, they made the KAs. They've actually got Recaro seats, which is pretty cool, um, which are the same as in the, um, which is the same within the RS200, but you're not really getting that, I know. Oh, another racing Puma. Common these. Standard Puma. I'm dubbing that as a future classic, definitely. Mark II Focus RS. We've got a Cortina. That's pretty cool. Uh, the daddy of them all. RS 500. What a beaut. You want us to move out of the way? It's fine. You, you, I can't ask you to move out of the way your own yeah, car. <laughs> there you go. The owner of the RS500. What a winner. He's winning at life. Love it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What, like the owner? The owner. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about you. Car's all right as well. And then we've got some non-Ford stuff, which is quite interesting. Not particularly interested in the Aston um, R8. I had one of those. 
a lease. There is something down here, a couple of bits though that I do like. Got Mark II Fiesta, I love that. SE500, here we go. Now this is cool. Mark IV convertible, SE500. Um, finished in Pacifica Blue, they made 500 of these uh, for the final run. Um, and this is a beautiful one, H Reg, very, very nice. Uh, it's called the SE500, all the all blue. Some of them had upgraded Recaros, this one didn't, but they had that rather fetching blue and red piping in the seats and the gray leather, really cool. Then one other thing that's caught my eye, other than the Mark II Jag, which is pretty old school gangster, is this. Ermsha um, Calibra, uh, Calibra, Cavalier Calibra, I think they were called. My mum and dad nearly bought a 130 SRI, same year as this. Could have changed my life. We bought an Orion instead, but uh, glad we did. But I've got a bit of a soft spot for the Mark II Cavalier. Odd to find one at Ford Meet, but this thing's cool. Look at it. So, again, so 80s, it's so period. and. I've got to say, I love this. I would buy one of these, uh, shoot me now. Bear in mind I run a Ford-centric page, but I think this is a cool car. I think that is really cool. So we've come back. Now there's a less people around it to look at the RS500. I've just been speaking to the owner. He's had it 24 years and it is an absolute credit to him. Um, it's all original paint. It's all original car. 500 cars to the number plate. It's an absolute beaut. It's a credit to the owner. Original paint. It's just been detailed. Um, gorgeous. How many of these are there out there? The thing I love is, I love the fact that the guy who owns it has had it for so long and it's not been abused it's looked after uh, it's got an exhaust on the back like all Cosworths should have outwardly rolled it's an absolute beast so we're just going to have a look inside as well we've got permission so as you can see 29,000 miles number 401 of 500 and it's all original look at that the original radio cassette an amplifier, a Tickford badge. Owner tells me these uh, seat covers have been on it for 24 years and no one has ever sat in the back. Look at the back of this car. An Essex uh, Atlas, what else would you need in a uh, car like this? It's absolutely stunning. Amazing car absolute credit be careful shutting the door so yeah probably one of the nicest rs 500s i've ever seen so this is number 401 this is the penultimate black car off the production line the last one being 418 but it's the detail look at it rs 500 the tickford badge in look at the reflection in the paint absolutely amazing car so some of the new school stuff now um, the new Focus ST so we've got two of them here this one's a beaut I really like it I know it's not everybody's taste but um, I think it really works I just love it it's so nice this one's got the Ford Performance number plates around, you can buy those from Ford. Uh, they're not a lot of money either, and I just think they look a really nice finish, because notice this one that doesn't have them, just doesn't look as good. Black looks good though, as a car, as a colour. The blue looks better though. I didn't think I'd think that. God, it looks good. It just accentuates the body style in so much more. You get the detail and it makes the rear boot spoiler look bigger. Uh, but this new ST, I think I want one of these. I think this would be a brilliant daily. Although there's a daily update coming and it's going to surprise a few people. It's not going to be what you're going to think. Yeah, I, I really am a fan of these. Mustang. 
Uh, right, so I have just made it home, uh, beat the Friday traffic over the Dartford Crossing in the Escort. Uh, really, really busy event. Absolutely hats off to the uh, Capri Club, to Ford UK. Uh, good luck on the move on your new building. Um, what amazing event. I don't think there'll ever be that many Capris in one place in one time ever again. So hats off to everybody, uh, amazing event. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon in my next video.